Hey there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Now if you love cuteness, Doodlebug is the brand that has probably the cutest products ever. And I am so excited about their latest collection called Pretty Kitty because it is kitty cat themed. And if you know me, I have four cats. I adore my cats. They often are hanging out with me in my craft room. So when I get a chance to play with cat themed products, I am all over it. Now, if you aren't a cat person, you can still use the ideas that I'm going to be sharing today. Pick out a collection from Doodlebug that you really love and utilize those products to make similar styled cards as what I'm going to be sharing today. These cards can be easily adapted to any style of Doodlebug products and you can make some really fun cards with very few supplies. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of cards using elements from the Pretty Kitty collection. But again, remember you can use other products too. One fun way to utilize the ephemera pieces is to kind of build a grid on your card. You can use foam squares to attach different ephemera pieces onto your card and create a little assortment of characters on the card project. I'm adding a little sentiment from the chit chat collection and then using puffy stickers, I added little paws around the kitties to add some accents and color. A quick and simple card that has such cuteness. There are also so many fun doodle pops in the doodle bug collection and using those as your main element for the card is such a fun way to be able to give your card a focal point. I'm also adding some ephemera pieces and chit chat sentiment, some more of those puffy stickers and my card base is made from some of the pattern paper. Using foam squares is going to give you some dimension on your ephemera pieces, giving your card a more dimensional and lifelike appearance. So don't be afraid to add some dimension to your cards. I actually really love using the thin 3D foam squares for a lot of these pieces because it doesn't add too much bulk. I also really love using a glue stick to adhere all my pattern paper to my cards. This is some pattern paper from the Pretty Kitty collection and I'm using a Simon glue stick to attach this down. The reason I like the glue stick is because it gives me some wiggle room when I'm placing my paper onto my card. If I don't get it just right, I can kind of shimmy it to make sure it's lined up perfectly. Here's another idea. I have these cute little cat heads and I've picked out a whole assortment of them and I've arranged them onto my A2 card. And this is going to be a similar style card to the one we created earlier. But instead of having four elements, we now have six because they're a little smaller. But using a GERD pattern is a really easy and clean design choice because it allows you to have a very cohesive look. The layout is also very pleasing to the eye, which makes it a really good design. I've used foam squares, thin 3D foam squares to attach all these pieces down. And then I'm adding pops of color with some of these cute enamel dots. These sprinkles are so much fun to add around your project. And oftentimes use tweezers to help me kind of shimmy them into place. Sometimes they can be a little finicky and they want to stick to my fingers. So sometimes having a little tool to help you move them is very useful. Here's another style of card. We're going to form a line across our card base using these cute little cats. I added some fun heart ephemera pieces and then some of those heart puffy stickers around the cats to add some accents. If you want to step up your backgrounds that you're placing your elements on, you could also emboss with an embossing folder. I'm using this knit embossing folder from Spellbinders to create a knit background, which will match really nicely with the cat that's sitting in a little bowl with some yarn and knitting needles. I also utilize some of the ephemera pieces to create a little scene. This border of florals looks so cute underneath the window that I've attached onto my card. And then I'm using some regular thickness of foam tape layered up twice to create a little bit more dimension for the cat that's sitting in the very front of the card. And adding a sentiment down along the bottom grounds everything really well and we have a very balanced look. By having the window on the right, the cat on the left, and then the sentiment and florals balanced in the middle, this card has such a pleasing look to it. And you can add fun little extra details like this cute little heart above the cat. I also love incorporating pattern paper wherever possible. So I thought I would add a little bit more pop of color behind my panel by using some of the pattern paper. And I'll just use some foam tape to attach this background onto my card. This helps bring in more of that green color that is kind of sprinkled around the card. And I really love how it all balances out. 
Here's one more card I made off camera by using another doodle pop and I added a few more of those paws. Some pattern paper in the background really adds that nice pop of pink that ties in the cute pink bubbles inside of the doodle pop shaker. So I have so many cards here that I've made and they were so much fun to put together. But the best part is, is you could make these exact same cards using other doodle bug themed products, whether it's the new dog collection or the pretty kitty collection. There's also so many other fun previously released collections from Doodlebug that are adorable and so much fun to create with. You'll have a blast just picking out some of your favorite products from the collection, grab some card bases, a little bit of glue, and you can go to town making all sorts of cute and fun cards in no time at all. I hope that this video was inspiring and that you got some ideas on how you can use Doodlebug's products to create some fun cards. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon with more to share, but until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.